Hey folks, this is Johnny and welcome to another home studio trainer show and today we're just going to do something really, really simple. Uh, so uh, the question came across about, I, I have a song, it's already recorded, it's already mixed, I have the uh, WAV file and I just want to speed it up or slow it down a little bit or even go as far as to make some uh, tempo adjustments during the song. And uh, But the problem is, is that the the song doesn't follow the tempo or not the tempo, the song doesn't um, follow the tempo adjustment in uh, the Studio One song. So how do I get that to happen? And I'm going to show you. And before I show you, if you guys could, I'd appreciate it. If you'd like this video, subscribe to my channel. Enable the notifications so you know when these things are going to happen. And if you could become a member and actually uh, help support me financially, if you don't want to do that through YouTube, you can go to my Patreon page and become a member over there. You get all sorts of free videos. You get free support and everything like that just for a couple bucks a month. And I'd really appreciate it if you check that out as well. All right. So. Uh, welcome uh, to the ever-changing uh, studio here. I have gone and uh, taken all of my gear from the two rooms and combined it into one. It's really working out well, especially ergonomically. And when I'm actually working on a song, it makes it really, really simple to be able to access everything. All right. So, so again, uh, this question came up in the uh, main uh, Studio One group. And um, you can also do this with multiple events if you want, if you actually are importing um, a multi-track version of an old song and you realize that... Uh, you want to speed up a certain portion or slow down a certain portion, but in, the, uh, the, the events are not moving to the tempo changes. I'm going to show you how to do that here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the classroom. And the classroom is closed. Hold on a second. There we go. <laughs> All right, so uh, here is this, an old song of mine uh, that I recorded with my friend Wayne and Mike. And uh, there is no tempo data. So if I adjust the tempo here, you can see that it doesn't move at all. Let me straight. There we go. Uh, you can see that no matter what I do with the tempo, the, the tempo of this song is not going to change. You know. There we go. Do I deserve this for all my sins? Is this the point where the end All right, you can see it's not, it's just not moving. So if you look over here in the inspector, this, if you look over here in the inspector, you can see that it says the file tempo is not set. So uh, one of the things to remember here is that making this adjustment isn't going to sync it to the click. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> but what this is going to do is it's going to give us the ability to adjust the tempo of the song, either using the tempo track and making slight adjustments or just setting the actual tempo of the song and being able to speed up or slow down the entire song. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to close the tempo track. All right. All right, so the file tempo is not set. So we would like to try to get close. I could just set it at whatever this is here, and then I can speed it up or slow it down. But I want to try to get a little more accurate with it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to play the song, and I'm going to tap using the mouse, using the left click on the mouse. I'm going to, I'm going to tap the word tempo until this changes to the current approximate tempo of my file all right so let's go ahead and play do i deserve this for all my sins all right hey one two three four here we go perfect all right so i just had to tap the word tempo four times in order for studio one to say uh it's roughly 122 all right so i've got that one at 122 so i all i have to do is select the event make sure that it's highlighted and I can go here to the file tempo. And I can actually go ahead and type enter. Now, now the song is linked to the grid. It's not to the grid. In other words, the click isn't going to follow the beat of the song. Like I said, that's a completely different video. 
Uh, but what it's going to do is it's going to give me the ability to speed up. You see, now the file is moving as the tempo gets faster. Or slow down the song. So here's the original tempo. Do I deserve this for all my sins? Is this the point when the end begins? Not when you had it all, but you had none. Man, I wish I could still sing like that. All right, so now let's go ahead to a different part of the song, and I'm going to take the tempo, and I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to go all the way up to 140. Nope. <laughs> yeah! So let's see how the voice sounds. Through the mist you see the faces Where lives are built out of empty places Only you know for your sins <laughs> Now that's quite a bit fast. Uh, that is quite a bit faster than I would like this song. But you, you notice know something cool about this? The time-stretching algorithm in Studio One is so good you don't hear any anomalies. So then your question might be, all right, what if you slow it down? So remember, our, our song was at 122, and I'm going to go all the way down to 106. What's can hear the the sound quality get a little bit darker but nothing a little bit of eq might not be uh might be able to fix if i said that correctly you guys get the get the idea i just woke up a little bit ago so <laughs> cut me some slack here all right so you can you can see that once you actually give your file a file tempo that you can adjust the tempo of the song anywhere you want to and this is really great for like secondary mastering. You can't really do this tempo adjustment in um in the in the mastering page. If you can, I haven't figured it out yet. So if I figure something out, <clears throat> I'll do a video on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm quite phlegmy here first thing in the morning. All right. <laughs> you guys didn't need it. Um so uh, being able to do this with multiple tracks is really simple. If you have a song from another <clears throat> from another source and you bring it in and you really want to adjust the tempo of all of the tracks, you basically just highlight them all and then you do the same thing that I did here. So uh, please leave a note in the uh, comments area and let me know what you guys think of this. Is this something that's useful to you guys? And you know, since it doesn't really sync it to the click, is it still useful? Um, if you want to see a video on syncing it to the click, I do have another one where I take an old song from the 60s and I go ahead and uh, sync it up to the click and put new drums on it. It's actually quite cool. It's a song by the Box Tops called The Letter. So if you guys uh, want to do a search for that, otherwise I can put the link in the description. It's not something I can monetize because it's a popular song. So I'll see if I can get that set up for you guys. So other than that, I think that is it. Please leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Is this something that's useful? Something that you want to do maybe after mastering just to test and see how tempos uh, are? Of course, you can use the tempo track itself to actually make... Uh, mild uh, changes in the uh, full tempo of a song that's actually playing. So there you go. All right, that's going to do it for me for uh, for today. Let me see if I can find my show outro. There it is. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.